Hi, Nicola Askham here, back for another in the Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. And today's question that I'm going to look at is, what is the difference between a data governance office and a data governance council? Now, if you've Googled the terms data governance and how to do it, I'm sure you will have come across both of these terms. And some of the explanations on Google are better than others. So it's easy to see why people get confused between the two. Now, if you remember what I've said in previous videos, that actually what you call your versions of these isn't important. It's understanding what they are and what they do is more important. And then you can give them a name that suits your organization and its culture. So what I will do is I will explain to you what I mean and understand by those terms, and then you can use that to um, design something that will work and name it accordingly in your organization. So let's start first with the data governance office. Now, it's not a term I use very much. It is frequently found on the internet, but it's used to mean the team of people who support the data governance framework. So I quite often call that just the data governance team. Um, other people call it all sorts of things, but a data governance office is just the team of people. Initially, they're going to be responsible for perhaps designing and implementing your data governance framework. And then as time goes on and you're a bit more mature in data governance, they'll be the ones that are just supporting it, perhaps managing the central data quality issue resolution process and making sure that, you know, all new data has definitions and that definitions are regularly reviewed, that kind of thing. So that's your data governance office. Now, the other one is the Data Governance Committee or Data Governance Council. Now, this is not the same as your Data Governance Office. A Data Governance Council or committee is a meeting of senior people. So how I like to do data governance, these will be your data owners. They're the senior people who are in your organization are accountable for one or more sets of data. Now, you must remember that when we're doing data governance, we don't do it for them. So the people in your data governance office or the data governance team do not do the data governance. They support the business doing this. And the key people in the business who are responsible for making data governance happen are the data owners. So the data governance council or the data governance committee is the meeting where you get these people together to make decisions on data governance at your organization. And again, in the early days, it might be agreeing uh, what the next phase of data governance implementation is going to look at, perhaps which business area you're going to roll it out onto next or which data domain. And as time goes on and perhaps you've got data governance embedded, the agenda at these meetings will change a little bit and you'll start looking at things like, um, you know, data quality issues and perhaps prioritizing the ones that get resolved and, you know, perhaps discussing in much more detail the really critical data quality issues. So as you can see, they're two different sets of people. And the only place that they actually collide is the fact that the Data Governance Council and Committee needs some support to make sure it happens. And your Data Governance Office will supply those resources. So they will make sure that the meetings get set up and they're held. They'll probably capture the actions and chase up on actions from them, but they're not the same things. So I do hope that you found that helpful. And don't forget, if you've got any other questions that you'd like me to cover on one of these future videos, just send them into questions at nicolaascom.com. Now, I've made it my mission to help as many people as possible be successful in data governance because I really do feel it's important to give people the skills to make sure that data is used to solve problems and make better informed decisions. I want to be part of a world where everyone understands the value of data and uses it to make a positive impact. And if you found this video useful, you can help me in my mission by sharing this video on your choice of social media. Thank you so much for your help and I'll see you back here again soon.